Well, welcome everyone. I am so glad you are here. We are gonna be doing our backyard makeover. So if you've been here for a while, we purchased this house about a year ago and we have been redoing everything as we can. So the next project that we wanted to do was out here. Before we're spending a lot of time outside, we wanted to tackle this area. The previous owner was a DIYer, but this area was literally falling apart and we live on a hill and it was literally a sloping down. Chris is going to have the boys help him assemble this pergola. This is from Mirador. It's completely aluminum, but it has the look of wood grain and it feels like it too. This is completely maintenance free, so it's weatherproof and rust resistant. It has multiple layers to really enhance the durability and the vibrant color for many years to come. I did not want to have anything that I'm gonna have to maintain, so this is perfect. This pergola has a patented technology. It's also bioclimatic and the louvers keep you from the rain and keep the space underneath the pergola dry. It even has a patented water drainage system that will send the rainwater to the ground through the legs from built-in gutters. Chris and the boys were able to have this assembled in just an afternoon and it came with a complimentary toolbox which helped have everything right there to get this installed and put up very quickly. Now we are showing you how it's being put up here but it does get bolted to this concrete pad so it is secure and it will be secure for many years to come. I also have a code that they shared with me to give you. It's Lynn White and this code is exclusive for Amazon. You can go to Amazon and purchase this pergola there. I did have the model number in the beginning and you can check it out right there. Let me know if there's any questions that you have, but this pergola is something that will completely elevate your space for many years to come. We've already had compliments from family, friends, and even neighbors. I am so excited to have this and it was really just the cherry on top of this whole entire backyard patio. I cannot wait to spend a lot of time out here and with the hot sun, it will be so comfortable under here. So check out all of the information in my description box, including the code Lynn White. So you're probably thinking, did you miss a step? No, we had to get help with putting this pad of concrete here because we are on a hill and it had to get a retaining wall and it was just a long process. So Chris had a friend of his come out and do that for us. So I did not film them doing that because it just wasn't, you know, I just don't go and film people <laughs> if they're working on my house. And so I didn't show you all that, but I wanted to just kind of give you that information. He leveled everything out and we picked out the pavers and I wanted it to kind of have this nice contrast. We were thinking about doing pebbles, but we went with turf at the very end and I absolutely love the way it looks. Now Chris is going to be building a wall. As I had mentioned before, this pergola, when they were doing the pavers, they already cemented the brackets. So this pergola is not going anywhere and they also cemented and bolted in brackets for this wall because we wanted some privacy. We are not allowed to have a six foot fence here and I just feel like the whole world can see our backyard. So we're gonna have a little uh, four foot wall here and then an eight foot wall behind the pergola because that is where the sun sets and that is what they are doing here right now. Back to you. Come back. You can call my name and so we've done a ton of DIYs in multiple houses and he very quickly realized that this was not something that he could take on because it is really tricky with being on a hill. There is no flat land anywhere on this property, literally not one spot is flat. And so I love the view we have, but that does make it a little bit tricky when we want to put things out here. So having someone come in and do this retaining wall was just a must and he did an incredible job we like i said we know what we can and we cannot do he also runs a business full-time so it was hard to take this on so he had his friend come and help him So I'm gonna use the boxwood spheres that I had on these planters on the front porch. 
for the back porch. I was planning on putting all these flowers there, but then I realized that most likely when I would wanna water everything, it would stain. And I just wasn't comfortable with that because it's new, I didn't wanna do that yet. So I'm gonna put the spheres on the back porch in the potter, excuse me, the planters, and I'm gonna fill this up with some really beautiful flowers. Now I was not too thrilled with how it all turned out. You can see I was cutting it. I had seen someone say to get more out of your flowers, to just cut it, but I quickly regretted the whole situation. I just, the more it's coming together, I was so disappointed with how it turned out. So I'm gonna be redoing this very soon. So somebody said to cut it in half to get more, and, and it's not working. So I'm pretty sad about it actually, so I won't do that again. <sighs> you live and learn. Yes, baby. It's dirt, baby. It, it helps me plant my flowers. Oh, I got the food. Mm-hmm. I was really hoping that adding some water would really bring some more life to it. I don't know a lot about plants, so I'm not sure if maybe these need more sun because they didn't quite perk up like I had expected. So if you have any idea what kind of plants these are and if they need full sun or shade, please let me know. I'm thinking I'm gonna try to put them in front of the house, in front of the garage, just to give them some more sun because maybe they need it. I should have read the little stake in there to get more information, usually I do, but I just do dove in and started planting. So, you know, you live and you learn, but they are so beautiful. So I'm not super in love with the way these look right now. They need more height, but we just got them. They felt a little dehydrated. So I'm hoping, whew, I'm hoping with hydrated and fed, I'm gonna feed them too. That this one is supposed to stand straight up. This one's supposed to be more perky, all of them. Now this was some, something that a friend gave me and I wanna try to keep it going as long as I can. So they definitely just need some more potting soil, I'm gonna get some. And then they need to get hydrated. See, this one's supposed to be like standing way up. And I wanted to leave a little room because I wanted some room to grow, but at this point, wait and see. But they are really pretty, I do like the mix of color. So I'm not one that has like a really great green thumb. I'm trying to get better at it, but usually my potted plants like this does a lot better. This did not turn out how I expected. So I decided to take these faux eucalyptus branches, I think that's what they are, that I had in a little pot over on the side. And I stuck them in there because they needed some height. They needed some oomph to it. Um, I think what I'm going to do is actually get a spiral boxwood topiary and put those in here and then take these and put them in another pot. I wanted them here because I like the color and I love the boxwood spheres, but my front porch right where the door is at is kind of tighter. So I thought maybe something less, I thought less would be more here, but I'm gonna play around with this again. I just, I'm just not sure. It's not perking up like I want it to.
So that was the front porch and we are back to the back porch. So this is the couch that I got last year. Still love it. It has been on the back porch under the screened area. And then the two chairs were on the front porch. I knew I wanted to bring them all together eventually when we had a place for them to be an entire setting. I love this set here. It is from Walmart. I purchased mine on clearance. I know that they have another set out and the cushions are a little bit lighter, but this set has held up beautifully. It looks worth more than it was. I've had my eye on this for many, many years, and I finally just did it. I finally just got it last year, but again, I did get it on sale. If you wait to purchase it after the season, after the summer and whatnot, you will be able to get a really good deal on it. Just go ahead and put it in your cart. That way you have it and you can watch the prices go down. Um, that's just kind of what I do. And when I really, really want something, I will wait. I won't usually buy it right away. And then if I'm still thinking about it, I'm still wanting it and the time comes where I can get it, then I will. And like I said, I've been waiting for this for a couple of years. So I did want to wash all of the cushions or the cushion covers. I believe you can buy replacement covers. I'm not sure, but I know that it did come with like a canvas weatherproof um, cover for all the furniture, but I didn't use it. I never used it so I needed to wash these it didn't get them as clean as I had hoped so I think hope for them to get I think if I pressure wash it it would be better but you know it is what it is I'm still happy with it I love it and it made out here smell super good because I don't usually use really like strong detergents but my kids the older girls left some of their detergents so I figured why not use it it's outside If you can get someone to help you put all of these cushions back on here, that would be amazing. I felt like I needed the workout, so I did it and it was intense. I'm not even gonna try to act like it wasn't. It was extremely intense. My arms hurt so much from trying to get them in there and just shove those cushions in there. It really wasn't horrible, it really wasn't, but it was just tedious. So, and Florida is getting hotter and hotter by the day. It's like we, one moment, it's really cool in the evenings in like the 60s. And then during the day, it's like a scorcher. So I'm just trying to like embrace the little fluctuation that we do have. But this af afternoon, it was intense. So I'm also gonna put all the cushions back here. They have these little um, ties that with the elastic bungee type thing that will hold everything in place. So the cushions do not move around. My favorite part is when I get to decorate it and everything starts to come to place. So I got these pillows from Haverty's probably five or six years ago. I got them for 90% off, so I paid 10 bucks for them and they're beautiful. I love them, I've had them all this time and I'll probably have them forever, very well made. And so I'm gonna continue to put all of the cushions on here. I love seeing this whole set coming together it's like my vision is actually happening which is always so exciting i had really kind of wanted to do this as a diy do all of this project but like we had mentioned we just we know what we're capable of and we were not able to do that but i was really looking forward to that we do have a lot more projects going on we are actually in the middle of building the wall for the boys room so many of you have asked me when is that happening it has been happening it just takes a long time because Chris is doing that one and it is very time-consuming it is a lot more detailed than you realize adding a whole nother wall doors insulation all the things and we're thinking we might have to add a new window so with that being said it is taking some time but we have so many more projects that are in the works right now got these I got these a long time ago got them from Michaels nope that's a lie got them from Walmart I got it. you got it yeah. uh, 
What was that? Well, that was 500 BBs all over the floor. Anyway, I got these from Walmart a couple of years ago and they definitely have been loved on a lot. Pretty rusty and the glass is breaking, but I'm gonna use them because they're still really good and sturdy and there's no point in buying new ones, so. Um, it's all good. We're gonna make it work, give it a good deep scrub and then put them out there and then put some solar lights in here. I think it's gonna look really beautiful. Bro, that looks so good. That's so good, isn't it? What's the Sigma? It's a nice top. <laughs> it's a very what? nice, it looks so clean. Okay, so let's leave it. We're gonna cut the other ones and then switch the batteries back and we'll drill them and set them. Yeah, here. Oh, nice. <laughs> and then the little caps, bro. Oh, you want me to video oh, putting the cap on? Okay, take it off. Put it back on. Beautiful. When, when can we see it? Uh, I don't need it to be lit up yet. Um, it has a sensor, so as soon as it's dark, it lights up. It does work, I have seen it. Yeah. I am so excited for you guys to see everything. So this is Drew's cat. This is Ari, E-R-I, and that is his soul cat. She loves him. She's obsessed with him. I've never seen a cat so in love with a human in my life, but it is amazing. It's such a beautiful relationship. So I have just been wowed with how everything turned out. I am putting the lanterns over here, figuring out how it all comes together. Um, they, even though they're not in perfect condition, it works. And I was not interested in just going out and spending if I didn't need to. So even some black spray paint and hot gluing the glass, perfect. So. These were a great option. Also Walmart, a lot of this is Walmart. Um, and I'm glad that I didn't have to go out and buy new furniture. I knew that I had wanted to do something like this. So I had that in the back of my mind when I was purchasing this set. And I also was gonna share with you all what we did to the back patio, the screened area, and then the front porch because obviously the furniture's moved. But I decided to just let this video be just the back porch. We will share that and upcoming videos. You gotta let me know what you think about this. Do you, you like the contrast? Do you like the pavers? Tell me all the things. I'm just so excited with it. I cannot wait to have my morning coffee out here and just be able to sit out here with the kids. I'm really, really looking forward to this. So it came out beautifully, so happy. I was telling Chris, I think we should add another four foot wall on the other side because the property is completely just, everyone can see it. So I think I'd like a little more privacy, but that we're kind of on the fence, literally no pun intended on that one. I love how easy it is to open and close these. Um, it makes a huge difference. It is hot here in Florida and it's instantly so much cooler. I mean, of course I know, but it is it's so much more comfortable under here when these are closed, but then the airflow when they're open is just incredible. So I know I want to add some more solar lights just to get a little bit more light out here, but you'll see how everything looks at the very end of this video. So don't go anywhere. I will show you what everything looks like lit up and it was, it's just the ambiance is so beautiful oh my gosh i'm so excited chris said out of all the projects we have done in the house this was his favorite so he's like you wanted the kitchen and i wanted this and he he did an incredible job and so did his friend did an incredible job so i'm so thankful that um they were able to come together and get this done but let me know what you think i'm really curious so here is a clip of the outside with miss jules always hanging out but before you go, I just want to let you know how thankful I am for you. And I always say that, but I really genuinely want you to know that every single time you're here, it's like hanging out, out with a friend. You are family when you're here. You are loved. And there's just no one like you. So I thank you for being here. And I cannot wait to see you soon. Bye.